Okay guys, welcome back. In this video I just want to quickly go over what a while statement is and how you can use it in your bots and software. A while statement is very similar to an if statement. It's up to you uh, which logic you use depending on what you're building. However, as I say, it's very similar to the actions of an if statement. So an if statement, uh, sorry, a while statement can be used um, for thousands of different reasons, um, while a counter, while you're waiting for a counter, while there is text on the page, while an account's in use, while a, um, a date, uh, it's a certain date, you can use this for lots of logical reasons in your bots, which will become a lot clearer as we progress through the videos. I've done you a really quick um, showcase. So you can see a while statement in action and you'll see it's very much like an if statement. So all I've done is I've made a variable called the counter and set it to zero. Okay, and then I put while the counter is not equal to five, then do these actions. And the actions it's going to do is just write in the log, nope, you're not at five yet. <laughs> and then it's going to increase the counter by one. It's going to sleep for three seconds and then it's going to check again. <clears throat> excuse me guys so then it's going to go through it again and now the um, counter will be at one and then it's going to keep going over and over and over so you need to be careful that you don't make a, a loop um, a statement that uh, never end and that it will never break out of otherwise it'll be a continuous loop and just go round and round and round so you have to make sure that eventually the while that you're checking the statement that you're uh, checking changes and it can go to the next section so in this case when it does when the counter is equal to five then it will skip all this and it will come down to here and it will write in the log log well done you got to five okay guys i hope that makes sense so let's just quickly see that in action so it's run red one look nope you're not at five yet wait three seconds nope you're not at five yet and each time it's adding one to the variable Nope, you're not at five yet. Nope, you're not at five yet. Nope, you're not at five yet. And there you go, guys. We're done. So then you'll see um, once it got to five, remembering that it started at zero, it then puts into log, well done, you've got to five. As I say, guys, as we progress in the videos, using if and while statements will become a lot clearer of their power. They're really good when we need to make a decision or uh, check that something's active or not active. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in the next video.